One of the most important things when trout fishing is what color lure you choose to fish with. This decision can be impacted by several things, including the water clarity, the weather, the type of trout you are fishing, and the time of year. But are some lure colors just better than others no matter what the condition? That's what I'm trying to find out in this video. Now you may have seen videos like this posted on YouTube, and this one does a great job of showing how trout react differently to different color baits. However, there's one main difference here with what I'm going to be doing today. These are stock trout in a lake and the fishing is done with power bait. But this experiment has one main difference in that video. Instead of fishing for stock trout in a lake or a pond somewhere, we will be doing this experiment far out in the middle of the woods. And most importantly, the type of trout we are fishing for are not stock. They are wild. And instead of using conventional fishing gear, as most people use for a stock trout, we will be using only fly fishing techniques to catch these fish and conduct this experiment. We are trying to figure out what color fly the native brook trout will like the most, using an identical fly in eight different colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, and black. All eight colors will compete head to head until we can figure out which color is the best. Each round will have two colors competing. The winning color will move on and the losing color will be eliminated from the competition. The rules for this challenge are simple. Each color will get 30 minutes of fishing time. Each round will take place in the same stream on the same day to ensure fairness for each color. The color that catches the most fish after 30 minutes will move on and the loser will be eliminated. With all that out of the way, it's time to go fishing. We're going to be starting off here using red. We'll give it a half hour and see how many we can catch. In a half hour from now, we'll switch to blue and then we'll see who wins. There's one first fish on the reg. There we go. So reg is on the board with one fish and that's a really nice perky. All right, we'll get him back and get fishing because we're starting to run low on time here. Oh, number two for reg, going back in. Well, it has been 30 minutes, so now it's time to switch to blue and see how many we can catch with that. All right, it took me a little bit to get tied on and switch colors, but now that we're already set, half hour from now, and blue will be done, and we'll see who wins. You know, I've never used this color before, so I'm really excited to see if it works. It looks really good. So I've fished a couple pools so far, and I've had one bite that they don't really seem to be as interested in blue as they were red, so... We'll have to see, I mean, we still got like 20 minutes left if this thing can pull out three fish and get the dub, but it's not looking so good. Well, you can scrap what I just said about blue not working well, because look what we just pulled out of this hole right here. This is the biggest perky of the day so far, probably good six and a half, six, six and a half inches. That's a really pretty one. All right, we'll get this one back and keep fishing. There's one, number two, so we're tied up now. Another beautiful brook, you can see he ate the blue fly right in the corner of his mouth out of this hole. All right, we'll get him back and use this last five minutes to try to catch another one. Well, we just caught number three on blue, so that will win the round. The blue moves on and red will be eliminated. All right, well that is a half hour, but luckily Blue got that last fish at the end and moves on and Greg will be eliminated. So now Blue will move on to face the winner of Orange and Purple. And you know, going into this round, I thought Red would win for sure, but Blue came out on top. 
Now it's time to see if the fish like orange or purple better. So I stopped and retied. I also ate lunch, but now we're ready to start the second round. Here is the fly. It'll be orange versus purple. Let's get going. Oh my God, that was a big one. Holy shit. Well, I didn't get on video. I was casting right up in that pool. I hooked probably a good seven, seven and a half inch negative. I don't have a net with me right now, so I'm trying to get my hands wet right over here. Obviously, on orange and like, and but he popped off the hook and went off. So I'm still gonna count it because I touched the fish. But unfortunately, you guys won't see that. But that is one fish for orange. Well, it has been a half hour, only one fish on the orange. So we tie up, we'll start in round three. So now we're using purple and we only have to catch two fish in a half hour and purple will be the winner. But it should be interesting to see. We've got some good water ahead of us and plenty of time. So let's get after it. There's one, number one for the purple. Such a gorgeous fish. Got this perfect looking hole. You could tell there was gonna be one in there. All right, we just need, we got like 20 minutes left with purple. We just need one more fish and then orange will be defeated. All right, let's get this one back. Oh, right at the buzzer, trout number two. He goes, about to have to end the round in like a minute or two. His half hour is about up, but so we got it done. So now orange is gone. That concludes the second round. Despite only catching two fish, purple came out on top. So now blue will be facing purple in the semifinals. And that should be a really interesting match considering the two colors are very similar. Now it's time to move on to a match between two very different colors, pink and yellow. All right, it's time for the next round to begin, yellow versus pink. Here's the yellow fly, it's more of a chartreuse, but that's fine, close enough to yellow. We're gonna keep heading up this creek and see how many we can get. Well, it is not looking too good for yellow. We have had a couple bites, but you know, nothing that really actually wanted to eat the fly that much. So no fish so far. We got like about six minutes left. Maybe we can get one, but going up against pink, which is one of my favorite colors. I don't think it's gonna stand a chance unless it catches at least three or four. There's one, finally on yellow. Well, with like a minute to go, yellow finally caught a fish, but I still think it's down for the count because all we need to do is catch two fish on pink and it's over. So let's let this one go and then we'll retie and switch over to pink. All right, yellow's half hour is up, but we'll switch to pink. It's time to get back to fishing. I probably won't be... I probably won't be able to record too well for this hole, but I guarantee, I can almost guarantee you, now that I've got pink, my favorite color on, we're probably gonna get one out of this one, so. Well, surprisingly, I've made a couple casts here, and there was not any fish here that I to bite. So that's all right, we'll keep moving. We only need two fish on pink to beat yellow's one, and we got a lot of time left, so. Unfortunately for yellow, it's not looking too good.
I wasn't recording, but I just had another one hooked right here. And again, I was fumbling with it down there, trying to, because I don't have a net, obviously, trying to um, contain it, get my hands wet, and then start videoing. But um, he flopped back into the water. But now it is tied 1-1, one, one, one fish on the pink and one on the yellow. And it took a while. The pink's not working today. Um, so we only got like five minutes left to try catching another one. And I was just going to have to go to a tiebreaker, which would be biggest fish. And if it goes to biggest fish, yellow would win because the one I just caught was very small. So if pink wants to um, stay alive, it has to catch one right now. Oh, there it is right there. Well, with a couple minutes to spare, we just caught number two with the pink. So that takes yellow out of the competition. And we will move on to the last round in the um, quarterfinals, which will be green versus black. And that should be interesting. All right, well, we'll get this fish unhooked and let him go. And despite performing way worse than I expected it to, Pink came out with the win. So now Pink will move on to face the winner of green and black. Should be interesting. Now it's time to see who will claim the last spot in the semifinals. And the last round between green and black starts now. For green, I'm using this little olive colored fly. I've had great luck with this thing in the past, so I'm gonna put my money on green to take black, but we shall see. That's fish. First fish on green, nice little brookie. Let's get the hook out off of him and let him go. Oh, that's a good one. Good fish. Second fish on green. Got a couple minutes left. Up in these next couple of tools, we might get a third. That'll make it really tough for Black to beat that. So we'll get this fish back and keep on fishing. Well, the half hour is up. Green caught two fish. Now we're gonna switch over to Black. And Black just needs to catch three to knock Green out. So it's doable, it'll be close. Let's see what happens. We have our fly tag on. Now let's get the fishing. Next fish, big fish, big fish. First fish on the black only took like four or five minutes. I think it's the biggest fish of the day. This is a tank. Wow, right out of this waterfall pool right here. I'll get some pictures and a measurement of this thing and then we'll let it go. All right, he measured seven and a half inches. Wow, such a great fish, we'll get him back. Well, the half hour is up, and despite catching that one really large one, Black did not catch any other fish, and then really, really didn't get that many bites, so Green will move on, and Black is eliminated. So with that, the four colors competing in the semifinal are set. And so far, I haven't really noticed that much of a difference in how many fish the colors catch. I mean, there is definitely small differences, but each color seems to be fishing pretty well. All right, it is now time for the semifinal round, and it has been like two weeks since I filmed the first part of the video, so I apologize for that. But um, we're starting with pink versus green because I already have pink tied on, so let's get after it. Pink will have a half hour to catch as many fish as possible, and then green will have it shot, and we'll see who moves on. We just got fish number one on the pink right out of this hole right here. It's only been a couple minutes. Tar is right there. We've only fished two pools. That's a great sign. Right, we'll get this fish unhooked and get him back.
Oh, good fish. There we go. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to count that. No, that was so close. So he was basically on the bank. So you guys can crucify me in the comments for counting that, but I don't care. That was close enough to a catch. That's two fish now for pink. You know, the whole point of this is to figure out what color the trout like the best. And obviously they're going to bite it and get hooked like that. They obviously like it. So I don't know what else you want from that. Well, we just got fish number three on pink and we're only like halfway through the half hour. Came right out of this pool right here. So get the hook back and let him go. Oh, that's a fish, number four. Number four for pink. This is a very, very good start. I'm not sure if green's gonna be able to beat this. Well, that's gonna be it for pink. Um, four fish, that's a very, very good score. Um, that's, I think it's the highest of any color so far. So it'll be interesting to see how green does. Maybe the fishing is just better today or maybe they just want pink over green. We'll find out. All right, we are all tied up with green. Half hour starts now. I mean, I don't know what to say. Green just isn't getting bit right now. I fished a while, about 10 minutes and nothing. And that is a very, very big difference from what we were seeing with pink. And casting all these nice looking pockets out there right here. And nothing. Well, finally, we got fish number one on green. That took a while, but it is the biggest fish of the day so far. I mean, I don't think Green's going to be able to catch three fish in the next five or seven minutes, but at least it still catches some nice ones. All right, we'll get this one back. Well, unfortunately, um, I could only catch one fish on Green. And I fished it hard and fished a lot of good pools, but... Just didn't do as well as pink, so pink will move on. But now it's time for round three between, I believe, blue and purple. So after being green very, very easily, pink will now move on to the semi-final round where we'll face the winner of blue and purple. It should be a pretty close matchup, but let's see who gets the win. All right, it's time to see who will move on to face pink in the championship round. We have blue tied on. We'll give it a half hour, see how we do. Well, I'll be fishing this blue for a full half hour. I've had a couple bites, but it's not doing anything, which is crazy considering how good like pink did and green. So I'm, they caught zero fish. I don't know what to say. I'm going to switch to purple. And purple needs to catch one fish to make it to the championship round with pink. Well, we have purple tied on. Half hour starts now. I just need one fish, though, so it should be pretty quick. Oh, fish. All right. Well, purple beats blue, and we'll move on to the championship. That was quick. I've only fished maybe 100 yards upstream, five minutes or so. Wow. All right. Championship match is set. It's actually so shocking after Blue beat Red in the first round and did so well that it couldn't even catch a single fish. But now Purple will move on to face Pink in the championship round. So this right here will answer the question, you know, the whole purpose of making this video, what color do trout like the most? Let's see. Well, just for the purpose of convenience, since we already have Purple tied on, we will be starting with Purple in the championship round. And purple caught a fish in the first five minutes. So as good of a pink color is, purple may put up a fight here. So it'll be interesting to see. All right, half hour starts now. Got some good water ahead of us. Let's see what happens. Oh my God, you guys, look what we just caught out of this nice pool right here. He ate the bobber first and then he came down and ate the fly this is the quality of fish we're after and it's only second pool of fish with purple it's already catching the bigs i mean i will measure this fish get a couple pictures and send them back but that's one nothing for purple he measures seven and a half inches let's get him back wow it's such a good fish there he goes back into the pool oh 
Fish number two for purple. There we go. All right, second fish in like 10 minutes. It's really good. All right, we'll get this one back and keep fishing. Well, that's gonna do it for purple. Managed to get two fish, you know, that's not that bad, but I have a feeling pink might be able to get the wing here, but we'll see. All right, we're gonna tie on pink and start the other half hour. Well, we have pink tied on, ready to start the final half hour. It comes down to this, it needs three fish to get a win, two fish to force a tiebreaker, which should get the biggest fish. So if it can't catch three fish, the biggest fish will have to be over seven and a half inches to win the tiebreaker. So it should be interesting. I'm, I honestly don't know what will happen. Um, we got some good water ahead of us, but you never know. Purple could, could just win if pink can't catch them. So we'll see what happens. Well, we just caught fish number one for pink out from under this log. It's pretty close, but it's not gonna be in the tiebreaker. So pink still needs two more, but this is a good start for pink. First pool we fished. Just another gorgeous brookie, man. These fish are just so incredible. I can't get over it every time I catch one. All right, you can see. Ate the pink, get him on hook, get him back, and keep fishing. Just walking up the creek here to the next hole, um, after which is right here. No fish since that last one, but we still got like 20 minutes. Um, it might might be close, never know. We'll see what happens out of this pool. But what do you know, look what we just pulled out of this pool right here, right as I was saying. This is the fat, healthy brook trout right here. We'll get down and bite our hands before we handle it, but wow. This one, it's gonna be close if this breaks the tiebreaker, but either way, um, just needs one more fish in about a little over 15 minutes to tie, I mean, take the win. Take a look at this fish. It's a little bit of a hook jaw there. It must be a male. Brilliant colors. He's just nice, fat, and healthy. This is might be the biggest of the day. I'm not sure if he's he's gonna be pushing the longest, but he's definitely the fattest. Um, but we'll get the hook out, let him go, and keep fishing. Let's let this big fish go. Wow, such a pretty fish. He was only seven inches long, so he's not gonna break the tiebreaker, but still a good fish. So despite catching two fish real quick, Purple would still win if it ended right now since Purple has the biggest fish. So it's not over yet. Pink still ha it has to catch another one if it wants to win this thing. Just had the winning fish hooked right out of this pool, but he spit the hook after just a second, so that doesn't count. Keep moving though, we got plenty of time. Oh, I just had him right there. Did you see that? Missed the winging fish again. This is crazy. Well, that's going to do it. Pink wings. We just caught another extremely fat and healthy brookie. Out of that little pocket up there by that log. So, three fish in only like 20 minutes. Pink is your winner. We'll get this fish on hook and let him go. And wow, I mean, I, I, I kind of expected Pink to win, but this was a dominant performance out here today. And Look, where, look at this, he has the tail of another brook trout down his mouth. That's insane. I guess that's what he's eating. I've never seen that before. That's like a decent sized rookie too. Wow, that's crazy. Well, he flopped back in before I could get a release, but that's okay. So, whatever. And one of the cool things I will point out before the end of this video is that Hank consistently caught in that final round. I think all three fish were close to it over seven inches, which is just insane. So, while the other colors do catch fish, and some better than others, I think it's safe to say that pink, right there, is the best color if you want to go out here and catch brook trout.